Hello Stranglers fans, hello Punk Memorabilia fans. Welcome to the channel and thank you for choosing to watch another one of my videos. Everyone knows I'm besotted with um, Irish releases from the Stranglers. Now with the Isle of Ireland being such a relatively small place, United Artists and I think probably many other record companies chose a specific number of pressings to release of each release. Now I think for the Stranglers specifically, I think it's between 150 and 300. So that's a very small number indeed. So finding them is one thing. Uh, finding them in great condition is another thing. Um, they usually have writing written over them um, as previous videos do attest to that. Um, but what I'd like to show you today is a very special Irish release. Um, it is my old favorite. Rattus Norvegicus. Uh, I will tell you why it is such a special release in just a short while after I've explained a few other little things. Now, Stranglers, Irish releases, United Artists never used to spend tons of money. Obviously you get the, the sleeve, but you wouldn't generally get an inner bag. It would just be like a white bag. Allow me to show you this. And uh, you know they very rarely spent out on ink for the labels. Occasionally they did, and you'd end up with Stranglers labels that were fawn and brown. My favourite labels, by the way. But mostly they did the standard black and white labels. No pun intended for future Stranglers releases there. Just a plain black and white. So it's quite rare to get an Irish release of Rattus because of the, the limited quantity, of course. And it, it's very, very rare to get one that isn't scrawled over in biro. Great condition, by the way. Um, the seller that sold me this disclosed to me that he hadn't offered it out to anybody else. So I feel very lucky in being able to add this to my collection. What makes it even more so special is that it, it came with Free 3, the, the choosy Susie peasant in the big naughty word release. Again, Irish, black and white label. Non-picture cover, not even an orange sleeve, just a plain white sleeve. Finding this on his own would be amazing. Finding it in great condition would be even more amazing. Finding it as part of the LP release, what are the odds on that? So, thank you very much to the special seller who who sold this to me. Great. I still laugh at the run out grooves written in the in the dead wax. I'm pretty sure you won't be able to see it from here, but it says, "What do you expect for nothing?" Lovely. Lovely. So again, just another quick video, just to show you a very special release. Wonderful. Now I shall take the time to put those very carefully back, and when I get them home, get rid of this poly bag and stick a decent Covers 33 bag on it, and then label it up properly on the outside. Thanks for joining me in this very short video, um, Irish releases. Awesome, absolutely awesome. I shall see you, lovely people, on the next video. Bye for now.